Kelvin, we're obviously talking to you right after that middleweight title fight, man, and one that I'm sure you had a lot of interest in. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on it and just kind of what your emotions were after watching it. Yeah, it was um, rather disappointing, to be honest, uh, to see Rob Whitaker and go out and perform the way that he did. Um, I think maybe the ring rust was a factor. Um, you know, I feel like back in February I was robbed of an opportunity and, and to see him go out there and perform the way that he did was disappointing. You know, um, big ups to Izzy. I mean, he, he showed up big and, 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 and fought his fight and he looked great, man. I, I, I think my respect for him grew even more, you know. Um, I really, he, he's a guy that I really enjoy watching uh, and, and respect now, I think, even more. So. But at the same time, he's got what I want, man. I feel like, feel like him and I, uh, the, the 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 rematch will be inevitable. You know what I mean? I I think it it, it has to happen without a doubt. I I know he has a few things to do before, and, and so do I. I have Darren too in November, but I can't help but to look uh, ahead of that just because I I, I just want to get to back to where I was and fight Izzy again because I know what I can do. Most people don't know that I was sick before that fight and I haven't really came out in media and said it just because I don't like to put out excuses. I tip my hat off to him that night and let him go enjoy his ride but I think it's time to let people know man I was I was not at my best for that fight. I was maybe 60 70 percent for that fight. People don't know I was taking antibiotics six seven days before the fight. I was on antibiotics I had a congestion in my lungs where I couldn't train for about two, three weeks, so I was not fully prepared for that fight. Um, you know, I was, like I said, I was probably 60, 70 percent for that fight. Now imagine if what, what I could do at 100 percent. I think that everybody thinks the rematch is inevitable. You know, I mean, I think we all want to see it again at some point. It was such a great fight. So I wonder, as you're watching that one unfold and you see a, a full stadium and you see a guy dancing his way to the cage, I mean, that was probably a superstar-making performance, right? I mean, was there maybe a little part of you that smiled a little bit and thought, boy, this rematch just got even bigger now? <laughs> a little bit, man. You know, the higher he grows, I think, the better it is for me. Um, I think our, our rematch uh, storyline could be even bigger. There until you mentioned it, man. I know when the fight came together, you kind of admitted this wasn't really a fight you were looking for, but now that you're deep into it, you're into the prep, I'm sure you're breaking him down, looking at his style. Is it more exciting now? Is it more of a, a fun fight for you than it was before? Yeah, well, I'm excited now. You know, I'm excited to just be fighting anybody. I'm excited to be fighting in Madison Square Garden. I'm excited to go out there and, and, and get my hand raised. You know, that's really the most important thing is I want to know what it feels like to win again. And that's what I'm thirsty for, man. I'm a thirsty guy. I want, I want, I want to win, and so that's what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm excited. Obviously, you don't want to tip your hand in terms of game plan and things like that. But when you break them down, I got to think that you feel your wrestling is vastly superior. But uh, you know, I know you like to strike as well. Is there any part of his game that really concerns you? And you know, do you want to put on a show, or is this more about you know, if it's, if there's a way to fight a smarter fight, maybe that's the play. I think my plan for this fight is to go out there and dominate. No matter what it was, whether it's what, no matter what it is, whether it's me knocking him out in the first round, which I think I can do and can happen, or me going out there and submitting him, and I think I'm just gonna go out there and I have to make a statement, man. There's no other way. I have to make a statement and and put on a dominant performance, like like you guys haven't seen, man. Honestly, I'm 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 so fired up for this fight, man. I'm excited. And you said it, you want to get back to that title fight, whether it's Adesanya or somebody else, I'm sure. That's why I'm so motivated, too. It's like, I know I win this fight. I could get the rematch. I'm so motivated and fired up for that. I was going to ask, I mean, do you feel like if you make the right statement, I mean, maybe even if it's Paulo Costa, let's say things go Bohashinia's way or whatever, I mean, do you feel like if you make a big enough statement here, you can be number one contender regardless? 100%. Like I said, I am inevitable. Uh, I am inevitable. But, uh... Yeah, I, I still feel like I'm, I'm in the title picture 100%.